Hi students. In this lecture also we are going to discuss about techniques of polymerization. In the previous lecture we have discussed two different types of polymerization that is bulk polymerization and dissolution polymerization and now we are going to discuss about suspension and emulsion polymerization. So in the suspension polymerization they have used only water as insoluble monomers. This polymerization reaction is carried out under homogeneous system. So homogeneous system is nothing but sorry heterogeneous systems or uh, nothing but uh, water soluble and water insoluble. Okay. At the end of the polymerization, polymer is separated out as spherical beads or pearls. So this method is also called as pearl polymerization. So here the water insoluble monomer is suspended in water tiny droplets and initiator is dissolved in a, it by a continuous agitation. So the suspension is prevented from coagulation by using suspending agents like PVA, gelatin, methyl cellulose etc. So each droplets of monomer contains dissolved initiator. The whole content is taken in a flask and heated at a constant temperature with vigorous agitation in a thermostat with nitrogen atmosphere so at the end of eight hours pearl like polymers are obtained which is filtered and washed by water so this is the simple schematic uh, representation of preparation of suspension polymers so here the monomer is suspended in water and the initiator is dissolved in monomer and we are taking suspending agent in order to control coagulation so at the end we are getting the polymers so these are some of the polymers who are prepared by this method so polystyrene and polystyrene divinyl benzene are prepared by using suspension polymerization and coming to the advantages suspend since water is used as a solvent this method is more economical the product obtained is highly pure the isolation of product is also very easy it is efficient heat control and viscosity built up by this uh, polymer is very negligible and disadvantages are this method is applicable only for water insoluble monomers and here control of particle size is also very difficult and applications polystyrene beads are used in ion exchange resins so we have already studied in water treatment processes so most of the polystyrene beads are used in ion exchange resins and this technique is used uh, in heterogeneous systems and the next type is emulsion polymerization. It is used for water insoluble monomer and water soluble initiator like potassium persulfate. Here the monomer is dispersed in a large amount of water and then emulsified by the addition of soap. Then initiator is added. The whole content is taken in a flask and heated at a constant temperature with vigorous agitation in a thermostat at nitrogen atmosphere. After 4 to 6 hours, the pure polymer can be isolated from the emulsion by the addition of de-emulsifier like aluminium sulfates. So, this is a simple schematic diagram for the preparation of emulsion polymer. And the advantages are the rate of polymerization is very high and the heat can be easily controlled and hence the viscosity buildup is low. Here, uh, we can able to prepare high molecular weight polymers. The disadvantages are the polymer needs purification and it is very difficult to remove entrapped emulsifier and de-emulsifiers and requires rapid agitation. Coming to the application, this type of polymerization is used in large scale protection of water based paints, adhesives and plastics. This method is also suitable for manufacturing thicky polymers like butadiene and chloroprene. Thank you.